طيب الشباب so last time we we talked about how we can um, uh, uh, use the LCR circuit uh, or our, yes uh, LCR circuit to build a second order filter okay and we saw we can do that uh, uh, through using um, the same LCR tank and then we can just connect our voltage source to one of the nodes ZYX okay so we cannot change or we, we don't change the natural frequency and then we will see uh, hopefully a second order uh, transfer function uh, as such I mean this is the standard form that we have for the bi quad okay then uh, we said something about the inductor. We don't like the inductor usually in uh, in, in electronics. Uh, I mean, in, in uh, if, if there is a way to get rid of the inductor, that will be great because it is bulky. Uh, 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 it has uh, it is noisy when it comes to the interference, electromagnetic interference. Uh, so usually it would be better to get rid of the inductor. But before doing the act, the inductor replacement. Let us, uh, Shabab, come up or let's uh, answer this question. Let's come up with a circuit realization for an all pass filter from a band pass filter. Falandana Shabab Hina and a transfer function for the all pass filter. This is the all pass filter. Okay. And we want to build the all pass filter from a band pass filter. Imagine you have a band pass filter available and you want to do that. Uh, you want to build an all pass from the band pass filter. And let me remind you, what will be the bandwidth filter shabab uh, function? What do you think? So this one will be. Will be what? An S with a coefficient, let's say A1 and the same characteristic equation. Of course, you have the characteristic equation for uh, the bi quad, it will be all the same. The only difference between different types of the bi quad, and you know, high pass, low pass, band pass, all pass, uh, notch, and so on, it's uh, the numerator. But the denominator or the characteristic equation, this is the characteristic equation of the filter, right? So it is always the same, and this is the standard form. So we have the coefficient of S squared to be one, and then you have uh, uh, all these parameters. Of course, this is what, Yashabab? Omega naught over Q. This is the bandwidth equals Omega naught over Q. And this is your uh, corner frequency. OK, so let's now look at this circuit or this transfer function and then a band pass transfer function. And we have a, 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 a all pass a transfer function. So what do you think? How can I do it? But I should regardless of the gain. Yeah, and the gain can be one, can be two. It's OK. Yani A1 can be anything. That's fine. We can deal with it as a constant. Any idea how we can approach this problem? Fakir fi ya shabab. Andak band bass mojood u jahiz. Al fark ben al band bass transfer function. Well, all pass transfer function is the numerator. So, any thoughts? Any idea? And we can go. We can do it the other way around, and this is uh, can be done and very easily. So, can I, uh, Shabab, start with the all pass filter function? Okay, and we just do some modification to the all pass filter to transform it to band pass filter. لاحظ الهدف اللي عندنا الهدف اللي عندنا نبدأ بالall pass filter and then we do some modification to the all pass filter transfer function to make it looks like the band pass filter يعني كان إيش I need to get rid of these two parameters somehow okay so keep this in mind this is the goal now so we start with the uh, all pass filter uh, sorry and this is by the way this is a practical uh, problem. You, maybe sometimes you have a band pass filter available in the lab. It's already built, so you then need to invest time to go and build another all pass filter. You can use it somehow. 
and I'll show you now how, how it can be done. So then this is the all pass filter uh, transfer function over Q plus omega naught squared over S squared plus S over Q. And this trick can be done uh, in most of all fil of, uh, and other filters as well. So what I can do here, I mean, this is minus, right? So can I, Shabab, can I do this step? Who are adding uh, uh, this term and subtract, subtracting the S term again? So can I do this? Plus S omega naught over Q minus S omega naught over Q. So what say, Shabab, the circuit or the more tamam? Should be the same. Yeah, the same. Right? Should be the same. So what is this function? Let's go now and find this function. This is nothing but S squared plus. I want to have the plus in one term. And plus will S squared will omega kulha. Well, the other uh, negative the other term. So this is plus S omega naught over Q. Plus omega squared. OK, over S squared. S omega naught over Q plus omega naught squared minus. طبعاً عندي هنا نيجاتيف الشباب معلش. So this one negative. Uh, they have another negative term here. So this is negative, and this is negative. So this one should be two, right? So two S omega squared over Q over the same characteristic equation. ملاحظين إيش اللي صار يا شباب؟ Right? Yes. So what is this term? This is nothing but one, right? Minus that's right, that's right. two is omega squared, uh, omega over uh, Q. OK, plus S omega over Q plus omega squared. And this is the transfer function again. OK. And also I can do another step here. Dividing by half because this is a passive filter. OK, and of course, if you have an active filter or you have a chance to get a gain for the band bus filter to be two, that's fine. But if it is not يعني, needed, I can divide by two. So this one will be 0.5 minus S omega naught over Q over S squared plus S omega naught over Q plus omega naught squared. And this is nothing but uh, like some constant. Let's call it A. So the all pass filter here. We have some constant. Minus the band pass filter. Right. And I can realize it by uh, what will be the band pass filter realization Shabab, for the LCR. Let me go back and give you remind you of the realization. So this is the realization of the band bus filter, right? right? So I can use it. I can go ahead and use it, but it is negative, so I can use this one. So this is R. And this is my inductor here, a capacitor here. Connected to ground. OK, so what will be uh, the, the output? So the output looking from here, right? So this is the output. So this is V in, this is V out. Again, let us look at the circuit again and make sure you understand it. So this is the inductor with the capacitor in parallel, and I'm taking the output through the inductor, I mean the in parallel with the, indu the, the inductor and the capacitor. And that's my V input. So what I did here, I just make the R as such, and that's my V input, OK? So that's the only difference I made to the circuit. So let's now go back. What is left? I still, this is the band bus filter. This is what? This is the band bus filter realization that you have it already available. Okay. So what I need to do, Shabab? I need to, to, to get what? The constant, the whole point 0.5. What do you think? How can I find a point 0.5 from an input voltage. You have an input voltage and you want to get a 0.5 of that voltage. What should I do? 
divider. Voltage divider, perfect. So just I go here and apply a voltage divider. So, so this is R and this is R. And of course, if you have this situation, how much of voltage here you see? 0.5 Vn, right? Make sense? And then we take our V output because we are taking 0.5 minus the band bus. It is in this situation here, the V output will be the uh, voltage across these two nodes. OK, so this is nothing but an all pass filter. You see Shabab, how we did that? OK, so it's just a matter of modification to the numerator of the transfer function. So if you are giving such problem, you can investigate, you can explore if there is a way to transform that transfer function from an all pass, from a notch, from a low pass notch, from high pass notch, to a regular one, let's say low pass, high pass, or band pass, and then you can make these kind of tricks who have voltage division or you divide by two or so on and so forth. If you can do that, okay, that is doable. If not, then you say there is no way you can do it. You can start or scratch, uh, start it from scratch. Okay, Shabab? Okay. Uh, any question? Tabal. Have a transfer factor. It's over a long division. It's 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 a long division. أنا بخلي ستاندرد فورم بخلي ستاندرد الكويجن موجود زي ما هي بتصير زيه ولا يا دكتور أقصد اللونج ديفيجن بيعطيك ستاندرد الكويجن يا إف إف يو إف يو إف يو دو إت مثلا و أت ذا إند أوف ذا داي يو جيت ذا سيم ترانسفير فانكشن خلينا نقول ستاندرد فورم إن إتس ستاندرد فورم ذاتس فاين بس يعني يو آر ديلينج ناو وذ سام ريال أند كومبلكس نمبرز أي مين أي دونت نو إف ذيس إز بوسيبل so you may, you may try that one, but at the end of the day, make sure, Shabab, we are trying to fix the denominator, the characteristic equation, because our characteristic equation is common between all filters. We need to see it somehow. OK. Right. So now uh, let's talk about the inductor list by quad filter. That's the one that we want to discuss mainly today. Uh, as I said, Shabab, the inductors are very bad to have. I mean, usually in, in, in electronics, they are bulky, expensive, uh, uh, they are not ideal, and I, I just list many, many uh, problems with the, with the inductors. And uh, also, uh, they do uh, magnetic interference, and they, uh, I mean, they can also pick up this kind of interference and introduce it to the circuit. So that's a not good idea. Uh, this is one second. Um, imagine you have a low frequency filters, uh, something like 100 Hertz. And yeah, Mathalan, you are talking about biomedical applications. So we need very low frequencies, uh, kernel frequencies. So it means very large uh, uh, time constants. And imagine a Shabab, I'm using a capacitor of 100, one, uh, sorry, 10 microfarad here. The inductor here or the inductance needed is 0.25 Hertz, and that's very, very large inductor. OK, so uh, I mean, it would be a very good idea to have an inductorless by quad filter uh, where I have only a capacitors, I mean, capacitors and, and resistors and mainly uh, and also active filters and inactive uh, elements. OK, so uh, this is the basic idea, and that's why we call it Shabab inductorless. Yeah, and we don't inductor or active RC circuit, because it consists of an active element, capacitor, and resistor only. There is no inductors, OK? So there are ways to do the inductor replacement. I will introduce you to two, uh, three of them. Uh, basically, uh, two uh, is not in the textbook, but I need you to know it. And the, the last one is uh, the one that we usually deal with. So we have three possible implementation for the inductors Shabab, or to replace the inductors. We have the negative impedance converters. OK, 
which is uh, which what we call in IC negative impedance converter and from the name shabab it converts or it inverts the impedance okay so uh, uh, it will give you for example starting from z it will give you the the the, the equivalent impedance seen by this element it is minus z okay uh, and i will show you uh, how we can do that we have also the gyrator this is another uh, uh, element. I mean, some of uh, the uh, circuit analysis, I mean, uh, theorist, theorist uh, they say this is our uh, fifth element or maybe fourth element of the passives uh, in addition to the resistor, capacitor, inductor, and then we have a gyrator. So anyway, by the way, it's not available in the market. Yeah, and you cannot go and buy a, a gyrator. You need to do it by yourself. And it is very easy to do. It requires only one op amp and our and I mean the capacitor and, it, and the resistor. And then our favorite, which is the general impedance converter GIC, and that's the one that is available in your textbook. And we'll talk about it inshallah in details. Okay. Before I shabab delving into this kind of uh, possible implementation for the inductors. Al Ani Shabab the main goal about the circuit. This is my circuit, capacitor, a resistor. And inductor. And approach I want to go for the inductor, get rid of the inductor, add another circuit that replace my inductor. This circuit should have an active element, which is the OBAM mainly, a capacitor, a resistor, and a capacitor. Time. Let me ask you, Shabab, what would be the main difference between? The real inductor and the replaced a replaced inductor, low simulated inductor. قبل ما ندخل في التفاصيل. طبعا replacing the inductor معناته the inductance the same. إذا عندي أنا مثلا خلينا نقول one Henry as an inductor, I need to replace it with an active RC element. This is active RC element that gives me equivalent inductance of one Henry. So from the, so from the inductance point of view, we should not, I mean, uh, we should keep the inductance the same, and we are expecting to get the inductance the same. But what, what will be the main difference between a real inductor and a simulated inductor? Any thoughts? The inductor is so much Introduces magnetic field. Montaz, this is the main point here. Actually, there is no coupling. There is no coupling feature in the active RC. And active RC active RC active RC They are coupled. They they are coupled to each other. No, you don't have any magnetic interference or any magnetic kind of feature between these uh, simulated inductor. Okay, uh, and also, uh, uh, yani this is the main point of, uh, I mean, the main difference of these inductors, and that's why it's not good to have or to use the active RC shabab simulated inductor when you want to have, for example, a resonance, a very high resonance. So that's another issue you want to take care of. Type. So let's now talk about the negative impedance and maybe the gyrator. So this is the negative impedance, negative impedance uh, converter. OK, so what I have here, I have an album. And then I have this Z here. And usually we, we add a, a capacitor for that Z. And then we have our uh, resistor coming this way. This is, let's call this one R, R. And this is the Z equivalent. Let's say Z equivalent. Okay, is it positive or negative? The circuit is, should be, I believe, yeah, it's the opposite. We have two baths for the feedback. So this one should be positive. This one should be negative. OK. This is the negative. As I said, the expected one 
is Z equivalent is minus Z. OK, this is what we are expecting. OK, so how we analyze the circuit? What do you think? Let's find the Z equivalent here. And this is very important, Shabab. The analysis is very important when it comes to the filters. And one of the main skills that we need you guys to know how to do or how to analyze the circuits that involve an OBAM, especially in filters. OK, if I give you a filter, then I need you to know how to get the transfer function. So now let's analyze this circuit by applying a voltage test here. Of course, this is an I test. And now I need to find the equivalent. But I'm assuming ideal of them. What do we know Shabab, about V positive and V negative? They are the same, right? And they equal, they, they equal to VT. So this is nothing but VT. So Shabab? Yes, ma ma so uh, how can we solve the problem here? يلا عطونا هذا سهل أوبام بواحد وعندنا سيرك إذا بطلع ال الزيد كوفلنت هنا عطونا كيف أبدأ؟ We find it. And uh, divide VT over IT to write the تمام. equivalent. تمام. هذا okay. So Z equivalent is nothing but VT over IT. So الآن we need to find the IT in terms of VT somehow. How can I do that? We'll define a voltage VO in the end the, in the, as the output of the album. Montaz. And then what I do next? Uh, IT is equal to VO minus VT over R. Montez, so I do KCL, huh? KCL, yeah. let's do KCL at V uh, positive here, and we know these currents are almost zero currents, right? So uh, what we have here, Shabab, we have IT equals VT minus VO over R, right? And what is VT here from this branch here? What we know about VT and VO? If you consider Shabab VT connected here, what will be V output in terms of VT? I mean, shouldn't be almost uh, an uninverting amplifier, right? So do you agree with this? Can you imagine this one? Imagine Shabab as a superposition here. Tamam? Excluding the R, and you are not talking about R1, this one here, or R star or whatever. So now you are considering only a voltage connected to the positive, and that voltage will introduce an output voltage of one plus R over Z. And then we can continue here. So starting by VT minus VT one plus R over Z. Over Z. Sorry, over R. And that's give you VT. صح? 1 minus 1 minus R over Z. So it will be R over Z over R. And now R will go with R. So you'll have uh, an IT over VT equals minus over Z. And of course, our Z equivalent will be what? Will be minus Z. Which is expected? Well, how about which is expected. So let's assume now we have a capacitor replacing Z. So Z is nothing but one over SC. That's a capacitor. What will be your Z equivalent, Shabab? <clears throat> Minus? Minus C. Yes. Exactly. And that's what? That's J omega C, about negative. And what do you think of this one? Shouldn't be J over omega C? Sahih, Shabab? Yes. OK, so this is what? This uh, is what? Uh, it's, it's almost an inductor with a value of omega 1 over omega L. So this is an inductor with a value of omega uh, over L, right? Do you see that? So this is one way to do it, but here, what we have is about the uh, it should be uh, omega squared. Sorry, 
شو بدي اوميجا سكوير صح؟ لانه اذا انه بحولها لكانها كانها اس ال سو ذيس ون بي جي اوميجا اوفر اوميجا سكوير سي رايت؟ سو يور ال شود بي اون اوفر اوميجا سكوير سي. دي سي ذات؟ يس. اوكي سو ناو ذيس از ان اندكتور ممتاز جدا سو اي ريبليس ماي كاباسيتور وذ ان اندكتور بس المشكلة هنا ايش؟ المشكلة انه it is frequency inversely proportional to the frequency. As you increase مو بس الفريكونسي squared يعني frequency squared. So if you increase the frequency, the value of the inductor will decrease. And that's not good idea. Okay? So another idea to have is, let me just write it here. It's much better. So this is um, the gyrator. And uh, one implementation, طبعاً we have a lot of implementation for the gyrators, but one possible implementation for the gyrator, so this one here, is this screen, okay. If we have a minus plus, and then we have an R, and let's call this one RL, then we connect it in uh, as a buffer here, looks like a buffer, and then we have a capacitor, then we have our R, C. This is your VN, this is your V out. This one, if you do it, this is the gyrator. And by the way, this is one implementation of the gyrator. So you can implement the gyrator using only one of them, a capacitor and a resistor. And if you do the analysis, I'll not do it again. If you do the analysis, the inductor here will be almost um, CRRL. Okay. So the capacitor multiplied by a resistor multiplied by uh, an RL. And by the way, if you uh, uh, use, uh, of course, the, the impedance will be, uh, will, be, will be the opposite. So if, if you are using a capacitor, and that's the case that we have, 1 over J omega C, the index here, or the equivalent C from here, it will be uh, 1 over Z multiplied by R squared. So that's J omega C R R L. Okay. And that's nothing but an inductor here. Okay. So you can see it. It is a frequency in the proportional to frequency. That's good for us. And uh, also it has what? Uh, it has, I mean, you can multiply the, the, the values of C and, and resistors. Imagine a Shabab, if you have one kilo ohms, R equals RL equals one kilo ohm, and the capacitor of uh, one microfarad, how much of inductance you have? Using the gyrator here. It is one milli, huh? Uh, one hurry, صح? Yeah. تخيل one hurry, يعني أنتم ما توقع سمعتوا بال one hurry, يعني عموما. لأنه ما نستخدمها في practical implementation. One hurry is very, very, very large. Okay. So you can do that with, with using uh, some of what we have in the lab, uh, just two kilo ohms and one uh, capacitor of one microfarad and one active element, which is the 741 or any other uh, active element. Tamam? By the way, the replacement of this one will be uh, uh, an RL here and an inductor. So this is uh, VI, sorry, RL, and that's your V output taken from here. Okay, of course, this is your real. Okay, Shabab. So these are two implementation, two possible implementation for the inductor replacement. I mean, we can replace the inductor using an active element with the RC. Tamam? And by the way, the gyrator is highly used and commonly used in filter uh, with if you want to replace the inductors. Okay. Uh, but one problem here that's the uh, for the gyrator it is a grounded capacity a grounded inductor it's not a floating inductor تمام? so you want to find another way to do a floating inductor or more general way of doing inductors or any other parameters طبعا one uh, great uh, 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 circuit it is what we, what we call general impedance converter okay so this is what we have. We have two uh, uh, OBAMs and then connected with in, in this structure uh, using five different impedances. And we'll find the, the Z equivalent here. Okay. But this is more general, more generic, 
and usually we can use uh, many many خلينا نقول uh, uh, way or like options of the impedances and i will show you uh, some of them اللي هو inductor capacitor multiplier a divider or maybe negative resistor so we can see that in in after analyzing the circuit any questions so far shabab okay so let's now analyze the GIC or the general impedance converter here. And I will apply, of course, as usual, Sabab, I will apply a test voltage. And I'm looking to I. And of course, your Zn will be Vi over I. And that's uh, what we need to find. Assuming a Shabab ideal ohms. So these are ideal ohms. Ideal ohms. What I have, Shabab, if this is V test, uh, V1, V1, V1. So if this is V1, what will be? So V1 will be copied here, will be the same, sir. So Shabab. And it will be also the same copied here. Right? Do you see that? Hello, but I'm going to say copying the voltage. صحيح؟ في1 طالع عندنا بالنود هذه بالبوزيتيف حق ال في اي2 والبوزيتيف حق ال1 والنيجاتيف حق ال both او بامس. And then let's apply let's name this one as maybe vx this one as vy. طبعا شباب it is very bad doing a KCL at vy and vx. ليش يا شباب؟ what do you think? I mean I can do it. That's a node. I can use a KCL uh, here. I can apply KCL, but it is very bad move. What do you think? Why is that? We don't know the current out of the obam. صحيح. We don't know the current coming here. So I out of the obam is unknown. Okay, the I of the obam here is unknown. So that's not a good. Uh, uh, step you, you you do it in a, in OBAB analysis. Diamond Shabab Abadan, don't do KCL at the output node of the OBAM. Usually it's it's not desired to do that. Okay, this is just for your information. Okay, so let's now start. Maybe start from uh, from the end to the to uh, from two like uh, uh, node two, uh, and then we find the uh, equivalent impedance. So let's assume the current is flowing this way, this way, this way, and let's let me use another color for the current. Okay. So I'm assuming the current flowing this way and such. That's fine. You can assume anything, Shaba, for the assumption of because you'll be doing KCL at the end of the day. Type at node two, Libla here, KCL at node two, this one here, we have VX. طبعا even without doing the case هنا تقدر تعمل voltage division right anyhow so this one will be vx minus v1 over z4 equals v1 over z5 so what will be vx it will be v1 z4 sorry, over z5 plus 1 Okay. Well, the Shabab Tikdro took to Bumai Mumtaz Jidan, Hathanakum, you are following the steps. Looks easy, but when you uh, do the analysis later on, maybe things get complicated, especially for filters. And yani for this one, should be easy, it should be straightforward. Taban Hadi Kula Legad and Sawah Nalan Tamarin Ala Ish Ala analysis for the OBAM based uh, filters. Okay. So let's do now KCL at V1 again, which is this node here. I'm doing the KCL here. Same again now. We don't want to do VX or the KCL at VX. So KCL at, uh, we have many nodes named as V1, but we know it for sure. Uh, I'm talking about this node, Shabab, okay? I'm talking about this node. Uh, star, that's fine. Then what I have is about V1 minus V1 over Z2 equals V1 minus Vx 
شباب اعطوني خبر اذا ام ام اي ميك ا ميستيك اور سمثينج هير اوكي سو اي كان دو وات هير اي كان دو في واي ايكوالز زد 2 اوفر زد 3 في 1 ماينس في اكس بلس في 1 صحيح اوكي سو وات از في اكس اي هاف ات فروم 1 هير افيلبل So I can go here and plug it there. So then this is Vy, Z2 over Z3, V1 minus V1, Z4 over Z5 plus 1, all plus 1, sorry, V1. I can just go ahead and do, I'm taking V1 as a common factor, Shabab. Is it okay? So this V1 is a common factor. I have Z2 now, Z3. Uh, of course, this one will go with that one, V1. So this V1 coming here will go with this one, صح? مع ال1, لأن 1 minus, right? Is it clear, شباب, or I need to do it in two steps? Okay, maybe let me do it in two steps. So we have 1 minus Z4, Z5 minus 1. Okay. Oh, خلاص معلش. But then I'll be able to get It's fine. Uh, let me try to do it again. Z5 minus 1 and then plus 1. Okay. طبعا زي ما قلنا يا شباب الواحد هذا يروح مع الواحد يبقى معي ايش؟ Z2 على Z3 مضروب في Z4. So this is V1. 1 minus Z2, Z4 over Z3, Z5. Go ahead. Uh, why did you assume, assume that uh, the input to the op arm is zero? The current uh, entering uh, the first op arm is zero. This one here? The current line is zero? Yes. Ideal uh, op You said that VY main. Okay, okay. Ideal op arms. Fine. So either of them, it means the entering currents for the positive and negative terminal will be zero. So this is Vy. Okay, so this is Vy. Vy here. Two. And then I can go and do the KCL at this node. Let's do KCL at this node here. And I have I1 equals the current flowing through Z1, that's V1 minus Vy over Z1. Okay. And of course I can do this. So this is V1 minus 1 uh, minus, uh, sorry, uh, it is, is it minus? Yes, minus Z2, Z4 over Z3, Z5. في شيء ناقص أنا تركت شيء ناقص أبغى أتأكد في شيء. في exactly. أنا تركت ناقص أبغى أشوفهم صح صح الشباب ولا. طيب. Uh, so now we take a, a common factor v1 as a common factor. So this is 1 minus 1 plus z2 z4 over z3 z5. Okay. Z1. So one rahm al one again, and then of course, what will be the the voltage here? I mean, Z one can be uh, so this one will be V one, Z two, Z four over Z one, Z three, Z five. So what will be be then, Z equivalent will be V one over I one. So that's what that Z one. Z3, Z5, okay. The camera, we are going to the camera. I am going to the camera. Z4, oh, sorry. Z2 and Z4. Okay, Shabab. 
So far so good? إلى الآن النتيجة معقولة. Make sense to you guys? How we can get, I mean, what is the equivalent impedance seen from here? From the Z, uh, Z input? That's nothing but the odd, خلينا نقول, over the even. اللي هو Z1, Z3, Z5, هذول الـ odd. على الـ even اللي هي Z2, Z4. With the same structure, ها? Huh? إحنا ما نبغى نغير. إذا حطينا Z5 مكان Z2, معناته الـ المكان حقه بيفرق بالـ بالـ input impedance. Okay, so then let me ask you, what will be the case? Oh, طبعا هنا بيكون في كلام الخط بيكون عليه anyway. What will be the case if we replace? Let me go ahead. So this is the Z equivalent. We found to be it's found to be Z one, Z three, Z five, over Z two, Z four. So one, what will be the case if you have a Z one? Equal R, uh, it's it's a resistor, okay. Uh, Z two, it's a resistor. The same for three. The uh, and the capacitor will be connected to uh, uh, four, and then five will be a resistor. So what will be Z equivalent, Shabab? على طول رايت اواي ساعدوني يا ايوه الاوت على ايفن اللي هو ار1 ار3 ار5 اوفر 1 اوفر اس سي 4 ملتيبلايد باي ار2 صح سو ذيس از نوثينج بات سي 4 ار1 ار5 over R2. And what do you see, Shabab, here? Inductor. It is an inductor. So the inductor here will be with a value of C4, R1, R3, R5, with R2. And by the way, you can, مثلاً, make R1 and R2 the same, and then you can multiply R3 and R4. I mean, all resistors are the same. You can do that. So C for, uh, مثلا, R1 equals R3, R2, R5 equals R, and your inductor will be C4 multiplied by C squared, uh, R squared. So, yes. so, so this is uh, uh, an inductor, and that's what we call antennae inductor. There are a lot of circuits. Uh, available for inductor replacement. And this is one of the best, little Antonio replacement or Antonio inductors. And by the way, someone will say, okay, I can replace a Z2 with a capacitor instead of Z4. That's fine. But for us, for Antonio uh, in uh, the, the capacitor, uh, sorry, um, uh, circuit, it is the one when we have a capacitor connected to Z4. It has a very good uh, noise performance and many other things in addition to that. Uh, but it is doable. I mean, you can replace R2 with a capacitor. You will get the same. You will get an inductor. Right, what do you think of this case now? Uh, let's do this. So you have an Z1. I have two cases. You have Shabab options to do anything. عندك تحط الكاباسيتر بالز1 تحط الكاباسيتر في الز2 تقعد تلعب بالسيركت زي ما انت تحب اتس اب تو يو سو اي ويل دو ذيس ار1 ز2 ايكوال 1 اوفر اس سي 2 ا ذن ا ريزستر ان 3 وات از ذا اتس ا كاباسيتر ان 4 اند ذن ا ريزستر ان 5 So what will be the uh, uh, what will be the equivalent impedance? R5. I have only two minutes left. I need to finish this slide, Shabab. So what will be the equivalent here? The resistance. Okay, that's. خلونا نقول R1 multiplied by R3 multiplied by uh, here one over SC. Uh, sorry, R5. Right, and then I have SC5 a uh, two multiplied by 1 over SC4, and that's what? S squared, C2, C4, R1, R3, R5. Actually, S squared, C2, C4, R1, 
R3, R5. هل هذا الرياكتيف إليمنت باي ذا واي؟ Is it a capacitor or inductor? It's what I shall have. Is it an active element? يا شباب السؤال واضح والاجابه المفروض تكون اوميجا سكوير اتس نوت ان اندكتور اتس نوت ان اكتف ايليمنت صح ما في جي اوميجا هنا صح صح صحيح سو اتس نوت ان اكتف ايليمنت رياكتف ايليمنت سو ذيس از ا نيجاتيف ريزيستنس سو ذيس از وات وي كول فريكونسي ديبندنت نيجاتيف ريزيستر طبعا احد يجي يقول لي ما في نيجاتيف ريزيستر ويل وي دو ذات ناو وي بيلد ا نيجاتيف ريزيستر اند ذاتس فيري يوزفول ان كوميونيكيشن باي ذا واي سم تايمز وي نيد ا نيجاتيف ريزيستنس اوكي اند ايفن ان اوسيليتورز ويل سي ذات ليتر ان شاء الله بات وي كان نوت كام اند يعني باي ا نيجاتيف ريزيستر فروم ذا باركت بالله اعطني ون سالب 100 100 اوم لا وي كان نوت دو ذات يو نيد تو بيلد ات فروم اذر بارتس تمام بسوي اخر كيس يا شباب اند فيري كويكلي بيكوز ذيس از فيري يوزفول كيس از ويل اي هاف ار 1 ار 3 طبعا لما اقول اندكس واضح انه للزد ها سو ار 1 ار 3 اند ار 2 ار 4 اند ذن ا كاباسيتور ان 5 اوكي وات ويل بي ذا زد ايكوفالنت هنا R1 multiplied by R3 multiplied by uh, 5 over R2 على R4. So what is this one, Shabab? Capacitor. It is a capacitor, and I can rewrite the capacitor to be R2 over R4 over R1, R3. It is the same thing, sir. So it's a capacitor with a capacitance of C5 multiplied by R2, R4 over R1 and R3. And this is very useful. So it's a capacitor multiplier or divider, by the way. Tamam? And if I give you one farad, uh, well, one microfarad, I ask you to do a one farad capacitor. To go to ish, R1 equals to R2. Be, be cancel each other and then I can use R4 to be 1000 مثلا ولا 1 million ولا whatever multiply by R3 okay so if you have a, a 1 millifarad in this case you'll get a 1 farad if you want to do a, a, let's say a 1 farad from 1 microfarad you can do to uh, 10 to power 6 here so, so if you do that you can get a 1 farad capacitor and by the way, this is an effective impedance. It's not the real capacitor. It acts like the capacitor, but we are losing many features when it comes with an magnetic interference, some electrical properties there. But when we are dealing with the current and a voltage, this is, it looks like a capacitor, okay? Come on. Any questions about? Okay, we'll stop here. Tamam, we have a problem to solve here. Uh, I mean, we'll continue on this one uh, on Tuesday, inshallah, and we have example to solve in this uh, matter. Yaatikum al-afiyah, shabab, and see you Tuesday, bismillah.